Welcome back to today's Craftsman. If you watched some of my old videos, you might remember this machine. This is the Williams and Hussey Molding Maker. I sold it to Jeff and Rob from Green Street Joinery just about two or three years ago. Here it is in the new shop. The guys were using it this week to make some molding for a project they're working on. So I'm gonna hand this over to Jeff now. He's gonna walk us through the machine. Uh, this is actually the old uh, molding stabilizer that I made maybe 25 years ago. That's how old this machine is, maybe 29 years. And uh, anyway, Jeff will walk us through the project and show us the molding that he made. And uh, we'll go ahead and make a piece of molding. Here we are at the molder. Like John said, we bought this from John, uh, I want to say about two years ago. Uh, paid, was it 500 or 600? I think it was 600. 600, which was a good deal. John paid 2,500 for this. Uh, we looked it up. There's a serial, serial number back here. Uh, 1993 paid 2,500 bucks. So um, these have remained pretty much unchanged from you know when they were first made, I think in the 60s, all the way to now. So you can buy the machine and it's essentially the same. You might have some speed control now. This is a single speed, so. Um, we buy knives for this machine from Neil, same gentleman that we get the knives for the shaper from. So we needed to make this molding for a job. We're making a, a frame that's gonna be applied to an existing mirror in a, a rental property. So we needed some knives, Rob drew this up. So uh, we'll show you a picture of what, you know, Neil sends over a proof of the drawing and then he sends the knives and a, a, an acrylic template so we can, we can actually put those knives back in and we'll cut a piece of molding for you. To get to the molding head, we have to pull this pin out and remove this, this uh, shroud. We don't actually run any dust collection on this machine, um, mostly because we don't use it all that often and it, it makes these shavings, so they sort of just fall on the floor. Um, so you can see here, this is the, the head. So it'll take a knife, I think six, six and a half, seven inches. This is a base cap. So I'll grab the socket, we can take this off and I'll show you how we put the knives on. These are the knives that we got from Neil to make that molding. I like to set them up in the middle, you know, to sort of keep things balanced if it's not a full full width knife. You can see there's a little bit of slop in here. So when I, when I tighten these down, I'm gonna to wanna to push it back to this little shoulder and either one way or the other. You know, that way when I put on the other knife, they're aligned. Have both knives in the, in the head here. You wanna make sure that you have these snugged up and that, like I said, you're tight back to this little shoulder and either, you know, to the left or to the right on both so that these are aligned. Otherwise you're gonna have, you know, misaligned knives. To get ready to cut, we could just put our shroud back on. We have our little fence here set up. These are the blanks that I started out with when I made the original molding. So this is an inch and three quarter wide and one inch thick. And we're gonna finish, you know, just under an inch in thickness. You know, we're just gonna be taking off the top on that larger, the two beads. And, uh, you know, we'll turn the machine on and we'll make that first pass. You're gonna see that we're just taking a little bit off of the top and we'll slowly bring it down until we get to our finished pass. Have some spring loaded feed rollers here. So I brought the head down with this. We have our lock here. I brought it down just until it touched. I want the pressure down and the feed, but I don't want to take too much of a, of a bite. So I'm, I'm trying to get it to the very minimum. So we'll turn the machine on and run this first pass. You can see what this first cut sort of looks like. Buckle up. <laughs> That's a smooth cut. <laughs> so just a little bit of like 400 grit sandpaper, it should be good to go. <laughs> I 
I think it, I might have lifted it into the thing. I always forget that these are spring loaded. Let me try it again. With the same? Yeah. See what happens. Oh let me cut, yeah, let me cut the end off just so. That way we can cut this out and look like it was, everything went perfect. Oh, you got it, we got to start doing molding. Uh, there's my, it's going to be in there. There's my molding. Nice. The source for the modern woodworker. Ready? So we're not taking that full profile yet. We want to, you know, keep bringing it down until we have the full bull nose here. We have a little bit of snipe. I'm always going to leave these long on both ends. These feed rollers and the outfeed, you know, infeed and outfeed rollers are spring loaded. So if you were to feed in and because we're using this, our rollers aren't in the right spot. If you're to lift up, you're going to send this thing right into the cutter head and same thing on the outfeed. So, you know, you're bound to get a little bit of snipe. Nobody's perfect, we certainly aren't. So we'll bring this down, say an eighth of an inch, and we'll run it again. Once we have it fully cut, we're gonna bring it down about a 30 second and do a finish pass to try and get you know a nice smooth, smooth finish. So we have our locking knob here. We have a scale on the side. Eighth of an inch, and tighten it back down. Run it again. So we're almost there. There's just a little flat spot here. So I brought it down to 16th. This, you know, one of the things about this is you see all this backlash. It has like almost a full rotation of backlash. So you kind of have to go back and forth and get it set. Honestly, pretty, pretty smooth. You're always gonna have knife marks with this. There's only two cutter heads in there. You could probably hear the motor <laughs> rattling around. It's not, this is, it's kind of an archaic machine. It's not, you know, this isn't like high precision stuff here. You know, there's guys who are really experienced with the hussy that can do things really nice. We're not those guys. Um, <laughs> That's Tim at True Trade. Yeah, yeah, Timmy, Justin De Palma, guys like that. You know, they run these things every week you know we pull this thing out every couple months so pretty happy with this finish a little bit of sanding on there you know you'll be good to go and you can get any anything you can dream of really made you know a knife for this so very very nice tool to have you know especially when you design something that you can't buy so uh hope you liked looking at the william and hussy Another tool that you can keep an eye out for on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, stuff like that. Um, let us know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see. And make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram. We'll see you on the next one. Here we are at the William and Hussey. Um, John was saying, so this, I, all right, let's start over. Yeah, <laughs>